Whew. Okay, so what we want to do today is find the horizontal and the vertical asymptote. So to do that, um, what I'm going to do to find the vertical asymptote, remember the vertical asymptote is going to be, especially for a rational function, is going to be where our denominator is going to equal zero. So to find the values of x that are going to make my denominator equal zero, I'm simply just going to set 3x plus 1 equal to zero. Then I go and solve, and I get x equals negative 1 third. Therefore, my vertical asymptote is going to be the values of x that are equal to negative 1 third. Now, to find the slant asymptote, some of you might say, well, what happened to the horizontal asymptote, right? Well, remember the horizontal asymptote test told us that whenever we had a degree of a polynomial that was less than the degree of the polynomial in the numerator, degree of the polynomial in the denominator is less than the degree of the polynomial in the numerator, then we had no horizontal asymptote. We're now going to have a slant or an oblique asymptote. So to find that, I'm going to use long division. Now, uh, it is also possible to you know, use synthetic division, but more than likely not, remember, synthetic division we can only use when we have a binomial to the, um, to the first degree. So for this problem, we could use synthetic division. However, it's important you know, to get used to that long division again. So what I'm going to write is I'm going to have 3x plus 1 divides into x squared. And remember, using, when using long division, a lot of times add in those zeros for the value placements we don't have. So x squared plus 0x plus 0. So I look at this, and we say, does 3x um, divide into x squared? And you could say, yes, it does. It divides into there uh, 1 third x times. So I can double check that. Does 1 third x times 3x give me x squared? And yes, it does. So therefore, it works. Then I have 1 third x times 1 um, is going to give me uh, 1 third x times 1 is going to give me positive 1 third x. Okay? Then what we do is we subtract our rows. So I have x squared minus x squared is going to leave me with 0. And then I have 0 minus 1 third x squared, which is going to be negative 1 third x. Now I need to say, does 3x divide into a negative 1 third x? And you could say, yes, it does. It divides into there. Um, a negative 1 ninth. Then I multiply negative 1 ninth times 3x, and I get, and of course I get negative 1 third x. Negative 1, 1, negative 1 ninth times 1 is a negative 1 ninth. So I 0, I subtract the whole row, I get 0. Um, 0 minus, minus a negative 1 ninth is now going to be a positive 1 ninth. However, does 3x go into positive 1 9th? No, it doesn't, right? So since it does not go into positive 1 9th, what I can do is that's going to be my remainder. But remember, when solving for this, um, excuse me, when solving for your, uh, for your slant asymptote, we don't really care about the remainder. So my slant asymptote is going to be y equals 1 3rd x minus 1 9th. So therefore, that's going to be the slant asymptote that we're going to use to we're going to graph that value, or we're going to graph that line. And that's going to be the asymptote that our function is going to approach. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed.